Did that just happen? That just happened. Whoa. I expected to find nothing and found something really, really great. Uh, let's show you what I walked out with. Hey guys, welcome to the show today. Mark here from Back to the Media. And we are heading north today to go look at some records, uh, make a couple stops along the way. I got a couple different leads up this way. We're about, probably about two hours from the store and getting into some new areas today. Welcome to Pennsylvania. We up here in Amish country. Trying to find some uh, records. It's pretty up this way. I had a store up here for a couple years in what they call a dying mall. Uh, that would be the Chambersburg Mall. Some of you guys uh, probably remember that store. It's pretty fun up there. Had a good time. Uh, a lot of the stores started closing in the mall and the traffic just kind of really died down so we packed up and went to Virginia. But I like getting up here. It's kind of like my old stomping grounds coming up here again. Um, I still have customers call me all the time, you know, looking to sell stuff that used to go to our store up here, um, including our first stop today. Uh, he was a former customer of mine. But uh, it's nice up here. A lot of farms, dairy farms, cows, you know, nice things. All right, look like I arrived here. Okay, we just got out of here. Um, I went and parked here and go ahead and take this mask off here. Uh, I'll show you what we got here. Let's flip this camera around. Take a look. All right. I'm in the eight track business. Thing. I bought these before. Um, not something that I always really go after, but he had them and they were cheap enough. So we were like, okay. And if I do buy them, I usually try to buy ones that have you know, good classic rock on them. Uh, there's a lot of that in here. Ted Nugent, Aerosmith. We got some ACDC. Like, I've never seen this one high voltage. Um, they're in average condition, you know. Pretty sweet, though. And, I mean, they were cheap enough. The price was right. There's a Led Zeppelin, too, which is that's pretty neat. Most of these will probably be on our website. Uh, back to the media.com. I apologize about the wind. It's really windy up here on these Pennsylvania mountains. We got a Kiss Alive down here. This is cool. Alright. Kiss Alive. Cool. Cheech and Chong. Got a VH2 right there. Just think, guys. At some point in time, some rocker dude probably had this in his uh, old Pontiac Trans Am. Just cranking it up. Getting it. I'll have to fix this back up here. It's deep purple. That's pretty sweet. Machine head. Uh, got more Van Halen here. For those that don't know, a um, little piece of advice. Kiss Animalize on 8-track is worth a lot of money if you can find it. I've never found it yet, but I saw one sell for a couple hundred dollars, which I was like, what? Maybe it's in here. I've rarely even looked at these. Queen! Check that out. Sweet. Cool. Black Sabbath. Oh, Pink Floyd back here. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah, nice copy of Animals. It's pretty neat. Whoa, Hellbent, Hellbent Valletta. That's pretty neat to find that one on 8 track. So, I got all these, you know, cheap. Then we bought uh, a whole thing of NES games. Unfortunately, these boxes are just beat on these. Um, it's really sad, especially on this one, because this is actually a pretty expensive game. But we'll wait till you see the back of this box. Uh, uh. It's like a dog chewed it up. Uh, the carts are beautiful though, in great shape. Warriors Woods, that's pretty hard to find, that one. Unfortunately, the box is beat. Home Alone 2, uh, Turtles Arcade Game, Home Alone. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oops. Tiny Teen Adventures. We got uh, Barbie. Barbie here. Top Gun. We got Zelda. And Zelda. These poor Zelda boxes. Ugh. If only it had the top. Got some records. Uh, he has some other stuff here. I got this for my son. He does like closeout sales or something. Does like buyouts. So we bought that. And then the records. 
Um, the records were pretty much meh, but there was a Zeppelin three there. That was All right, guys, so that was pretty cool, pretty fun. We found some eight tracks there, uh, a couple records, not bad. Um, some vintage Nintendo games, we're always buying those. Our store uh, specializes in records, video games, comic books. So whenever someone has stuff like that, we'll always grab it when we see it. We uh, managed to already fill the car up already. I uh, just met up with a nice dude named Chuck. Uh, he is a storage unit buyer. Gets all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, now he's got my number. He's gonna call me from now on with any records he gets. Video game items, comic books. It's all about the networking, guys. It's all about that networking. pretty wild, you just never see this. All right, so we have checked out all my leads for today, um, unless something else kicks up right now, but we will stop at this little antique mall, take a look at the record selection there. Um, it kind of works out because I ran out of room in the car anyway uh, for any other collection to come up. But if we had to, we'll squeeze and make room. There's always room for one more collection, right guys? That's right. So let's hit this antique mall, take a quick look around. All right. I got this music blasting up in here. It's kind of cool. It's a six eye Johnny Cash. No jacket. Eh. Hey, okay. <clears throat> this is kind of cool. Little music section here. Not been here before. Let's see what we can find. The firm is cool. Pretty neat. I've sold one of these before. Uh. Sting. Let's see how much that is. Romantics. Might see how much that is. This is a cool, like, uh, I think it's like a 60s psych rock compilation here. It's got the animals on there. Kind of interesting. Classic rock stuff. Jimi Hendrix is on there. Canned Heat. The birds. Who's that? 
Yes, that's pretty cool. That might be like an old boot, maybe. I might pick that up. We'll see how much it is. Fantastic album. If you don't have one, get one. I don't know where the prices are on this stuff. Oh, there we go. Prices are found inside of record sleeve. <laughs> One of those deals. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen fit in that. That's pretty standard. I guess on that one. Ricky Van Shelton. Records here. Let's see. Airplane. Sixteen dollars. Woo wee. <clears throat> Credence, but it's not really a great album. It's it's all right. Raspberries. It's a good one there. 16's not too hateful on that one. It's pretty hard to get. Maybe. Maybe. Little bird humper dink, my man. Apologize about the face mask. I'm kind of muffled here. Boo, boo, boo. I gotta talk over this music that is just blaring up in this joint. Yeah. Credence first album back here. 16, that's really not hateful for that either. We'll check it out, see how see how scratched up it is. It's probably first pressing of that. Comic books. I think I'm gonna go with this. It was really, really clean. It's a first press, too. No terrible seam splits or anything. The vinyl is very nice. Got more records here. Tony Wendando. <clears throat> How about no? spot here there's just music everywhere in this antique mall and I like it I like it a lot of CDs there media media wheeling records don't know about that if it's good please let me know I can come back the yes records here for four bucks that's a deal I already have them though, I got them. It's not a bad price on that Frank Zappa either. I like this vendor. Simply red, you don't see that one much. At least I don't.
Howard Jones. I don't know if Mike's got that one or not. I got a customer, Mike. Oh, Mike, check that out, bro. I'm getting that for Mike regardless. That's five bucks. Mike's gonna like me for that. It's sealed, buddy. He probably ain't got a sealed one. Bill Haley. Eight bucks. That's pretty cool. That's in good shape, man. Things clean. I pop on that. Comic books here. This is the first cardiac, I believe. Woo! Get excited about that one. There's my credence there. A couple CGC books here. First gambit down there, that's cool. Ooh, records. <laughs> Not looking too good so far. Hold up. Oh no, for real. Oh my god, I'm afraid to look at the price tag. Shocked to find a blue note here, which is a <sighs> seventy bucks. So we're gonna get lucky there. Jeez, look at this. Come uh, on here. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm finding stuff you just never see, but uh. I think this vendor knows what's up. Phew, wow, that is exciting, guys. That is exciting. This one, the tag had fallen off, but it was down in there, and I was shocked that it was only 20 bucks. What a deal. The jacket's, you know, it's it's not good. The jacket's not very good. It's a lot of seam splitting and everything, but for an original 60s blue note, we're gonna do it. Alright, pretty excited. Got a nice stack of records here. We'll look at them in the car. Did that just happen? That just happened. Whoa! I expected to find nothing and found something really, really great. Uh, let's show you what I walked out with. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I, I never find anything at antique malls anymore that is like you know a great deal at least i don't that's my luck but stopped in here today here's what i came up with lou reed this was only 10 bucks that's going to go in the collection i was like so wheat uh that's a good deal and it's 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 super clean vg plus i was like yeah i'm gonna get that uh for a customer of mine i found the triumph discography uh cindy if you're watching shout out to cindy she probably needs all these. She loves Triumph. And I found them, and I thought of you. I was like, I'm going to pass them on to her for a good, fair price. This one's still in the cellophane, uh, Cindy. Pretty sweet deal. Pretty sweet deal right there. Look at that one. Thank you, Cindy. That's going to be for her. Uh, I grabbed this Credence Clearwater Revival. Uh, first print, self-titled. Very, very clean. Um, it looked like a VG Plus on that vinyl, which is... Pretty, you know, hard to find for a late 60s pressing. I grabbed Jimmy Martin. This was only a few bucks. It's going to go in my collection. I don't have this one. Um, it's got bluegrass stuff. This is Jimmy Martin and the Sunny Mountain Boys. 
Grab the Vapors. I got all my customers want this one. It's a great one. I already have a copy, so it'll probably go to the shop. Got this one too here. This is Rock Around the Clock, uh, the best of Bill Haley. It was super duper clean. So I was like, yeah, it was it was priced right. That's gonna go in my collection as well. Uh, Howard Jones, this was still sealed, which I thought was great because it was only five bucks and I got this from my buddy Mike. Uh, Mike's a long time customer and friend. So I'm grabbing that for him. There you go, Mike, still sealed, bro. Grab this Boston LP. Uh, I keep running out of these. All my customers want a copy. It's you know one of the greatest albums of all time. Everybody has this one, everybody wants this one. Good stuff. Then, this was the old heart stopper moment. Miles Davis on Prestige. Look at this. And it is cherry, man. It is cherry. It's cherry for a 60s pressing, okay? Um, it's cherry to me, all right? Because I usually don't find these in very good shape at all. Um, I usually never even see them anywhere I go except for like on a wall at a record store for a grossly high price tag. Uh, this is going in my collection. It was 50 bucks. Uh, super clean. The vinyl's very, very nice. Uh, Prestige 7150. Pretty darn nice. The spine is very, very clean. Look at that. I usually don't roll into antique malls dropping $50 on albums, but uh, I usually never find these either. So I was like, dang. Okay. That's exciting. I was like, man. All right. Then, this has probably been a year since I found one of these. I found a freaking Blue Note. This is, a, I think it's a 60s repress. I don't believe it is a first press. I think it's a 60s repress, but it's still in the cellophane. Lee Morgan. Uh, it is very, very clean. VG plus on that vinyl. This was marked $70 sitting in a box on the floor. Um, they don't want to pay 70. No, I pulled it out thinking it might've been like $3. I was going to be like, yeah, <laughs> thought it was going to be one of those scores. But I'm telling you right now, if you're a, if you are a jazz collector and you see a blue note out in the wild, you grab it because when you go back, it's not going to be there. I know from experience, dude, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I was happy to happy to get it, happy to pay it. Um, still in the cellophane. I mean, it's it's clean, man. It's clean. I probably paid up a little bit on this one. Could it be found cheaper? Probably, maybe. In this condition, maybe. I don't know. I didn't even uh, I didn't even research it or anything. But it's 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 an OG blue, so you got to get it. I'm not leaving it behind. It doesn't matter what it costed. Can't leave it behind. Going in the collection. And then what makes it a little bit better is if I paid up on that one, I think I underpaid on this one. This is Clifford Brown, another blue note. Two blue notes in the same box. Craziness. I haven't even ran the pressing. Um, I don't know if this is the late 50s pressing or if it's a if it's a 60s repress. The jacket is bad. It's got a seam split that's probably six inches long up there. It's coming out there. But guys, it's 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 a blue note, guys. It's a blue note. For 20 bucks. This was 20 bucks. Right going in the collection. 20 bucks. 20 bucks all day long. Happy to get it, happy to pay it. So that concludes today. That concludes the video. Very excited, very stoked. Got all kinds of stuff, filled the whole uh, vehicle up. So thanks for watching. Please, if you like the content, like and subscribe. Everybody says it, I'm gonna say it. Uh, we're new to YouTube, but uh, if you like hanging out with me, hanging out with Danny, uh, she's gonna be in the next video for sure. Um, but we love records, we love media. We are back to the media, Winchester, Virginia. Check us out if you're ever in the area. Uh, check out our Facebook page. We go live every Saturday night for a record sale. That's where I'm going to now. I will catch you later. Thanks for riding along.